Hi, I'm Randy Golden from Medical Technologies of Georgia, and I'm here today to show you the clinical in-surface procedure for MTG Easy Advancer closed system intermittent catheters. In this demonstration, I'm going to be showing the correct procedure to do Easy Advancer, MTG's firm vinyl catheter. We also make a soft version of this product should you have patients with sensation. We offer female length catheters as well as coude tip and all MTG products are 100% latex free. MTG's catheter eyelets or drainage holes are fire polished so they're less likely to cause irritation as the catheter winds its way through the urethra. We also have a conical tip which helps the catheter pass through tight spots along the way. Now let's have a look at Easy Advancer. Keep in mind the last two numbers in the reference number are the French size. In this case, 1-4 would denote a 14 French catheter. First, I'm going to show a demonstration of how to catheterize the male patient. Before catheterizing, always wash your hands, explain the procedure to the patient, verify the French size, and ensure that the catheter tip is the correct variety. MTG Easy Advancer catheter kits are packed in chronological order so that sterile catheterization is absolutely possible. We include the cuffed folded latex free gloves which we'll go ahead and don first. After donning gloves the next kit component we'll find is the underpad. And you want to place the underpad shiny side down, paper side up, on the patient's legs with the anatomy above in the middle just like so. Okay, the next kit component after we've placed the underpad are the benzylconium chloride swab sticks. There's three of them in here. And these are our antiseptic. And you basically just tear the top of the package off and remove the three swab sticks. And I like to just take them entirely out of the pack and set the pack right back in my sterile field. At the same time, I take the catheter with my other hand and remove it from the kit. Now, I'm going to remove the cap and expose the introducer tip. And I'm just going to discard the cap, set it aside there. And I'm going to place the closed system catheter also back in my sterile field with the introducer tip inside the tray so that again it remains sterile. So now we're ready to go to the patient. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull any foreskin back with my last three fingers of my left hand. I'm right-handed and all the advancement of the catheter will be done with my right hand. I'm going to use the left hand to stabilize the penis. And notice here that I'm, I'm freeing up my thumb and my index finger and I'll explain what they're going to be used for in just a second. Now, go back and get your, your swab sticks and go right over the urethral opening and around the glands one time with each swab. This cleans the area out around the glands. And you can notice too that benzoconium chloride is clear as opposed to the iodine products so we don't end up with a big mess. Now once we've prepped without letting go of the patient I'm now going to reach back for our catheter. And again it's all pre-lubricated. I'm going to insert the catheter and the introducer tip in the urethra just like this. It should look just like this in the patient as it does in my, in my hand and my model here. And now my thumb and my index finger I'm going to use to just stabilize everything so I can let go of the patient with my right hand entirely. And all I have to do now is go back to the catheter and the bag, there's a, uh, the bag's graduated and at the 1400 cc marks about a good place to start. I'm going to advance the catheter at one to one and a half inch intervals. Advance in and again I'm not squeezing anything because of that locking mechanism I described earlier. Notice how easy the bag is to push back. Insert in, straighten the bag, insert in, straighten the bag, insert in, straighten the bag. Now let's assume that we reach the prostate and you're having a little trouble advancing the catheter further. If the patient's awake you might ask him to take a deep breath and certainly don't force the catheter in. Let's wait until we, we have a chance to pass the catheter without forcing it in. He takes a deep breath, we pass the catheter, one more push and get the catheter right in the in the bladder and then one more push to get the catheter in the middle of the bladder straighten the bag and now urine will start to flow when the patient finishes voiding take the catheter again at that 1400 cc mark and, and grab tight here and just pull the catheter out 
about one inch. See if we have any more fluid. And you'll notice I've let go of the patient. I don't have to hold on to the, the anatomy any longer. I'm going to reach back and grab the gauze tissue in the kit, and I'll show everybody what the purpose of the gauze tissue is now. As the catheter leaves the body, you want to catch the eyes of the catheter with the gauze tissue so we avoid any spilling. Clamp off the eyes just like so, hold it up so we don't have any spilling. Incidentally, if you let go of the bag, it's not going to separate. We have a flange in there that keeps everything together so it won't end up on the floor. Now, we go over to the toilet. How do we get the urine out of the bag? Well, entwine the catheter around the gauze tissue, just like I'm doing here. Go over to the toilet. Now, if we need a sterile sample, this is the, the other uh, nice trick. Hang on to the pipe inside the bag, and with a just gentle tug here, pull the catheter out the top of the bag and expose the sterile sample port. As long as I don't touch the, the lip here, the uh, port is sterile and we can pour a sample off for the lab. Now let's have a look at the catheterization procedure for women. I'm going to show everybody Easy Advancer, but we also make a product specifically for women called MTG Kathleen, and there's information about this product on our website. So now, let's take a look at catheterization of the female using the anatomical model. I've gone ahead and donned my gloves, I've opened up the swab package and got them ready to go. And now, I'm going to go to the patient and I'm going to spread the labia with the two fingers of my left hand, just like so. And just like before, I'm going to use my right hand to do all the advancements. I'm going to take each swab and I'm going to start right above the urethral opening and right, wipe downward one time with each swab. Don't retrace the same skin with the same swab stick. Again, there's no iodine, so it's, it's, it's less messy for sure. Now take the catheter at the 1400 cc mark and insert the catheter and the introducer tip in the urethra just as I'm doing here. Okay, And use those two fingers to keep everything stable. Now notice here that I'm straightening the bag. I want to make sure that the bag is parallel with the legs with the MTG logo up. Reason being that once she starts to void, I want the urine to go down into the bag. And I want to be able to see the urine flow. Another helpful hint here is to pull the catheter as far up in the bag as you possibly can, just like so. Now, I'm ready to advance the catheter at one to two inches at a time. With the female, you only have to put it in about two pushes before the catheter reaches the bladder and then one more push once we see urine to get the catheter right in the middle of the bladder and then straighten the bag out position the bag between the patient's legs just like so and the urine will pool down here at the bottom of the bag. Once she discontinues voiding hold the catheter just like we did in the male example and pull the catheter out about one inch and see if we have any more fluid reach back into the kit and get that gauze tissue. And as the catheter leaves the body, use that gauze tissue to catch the eyes so we don't have any spilling. Clamp the eyes off. Extend the catheter all the way to the end. Measure and record output. We need a sterile sample just as before. Use the gauze tissue and twine the catheter. Go over to the toilet. Look away. Pull the catheter out the top of the bag. And we have finger holes here too, which can be used to help drain the bag. Finally, when you're all finished, take everything in one hand, take your first glove off, your second glove off, and you never come in contact with the patient's fluids either. Thank you for watching our video today. For more information about MTG catheters, please visit our website, medtechga.com, where you can learn more about all of our products as well as order free samples for your patients.